<laughs> so happy Sunday and welcome to the venue live. My name is Roger Ramirez and this is Houston's first online live performance venue brought to you from r, &R Studio. We are here in the studio with Cliche from the South Park Coalition. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. It is awesome to have you here. Uh, where are you from? And, and tell us what you're going to do in the studio today. I am from the south side of Houston, Texas, okay. which is South Park. So yeah. South Park Coalition, South Park. I'm from South Park. You That's know? cool. And today I will be um, performing a medley of songs from various of albums. I have like over 20 five no shit. like albums and mixtapes collectively and my mixtapes are original because they all original songs just some wasn't in the store and some were in the store but yeah well, that's, so i'm kind of doing a that's a medley. lot so you've been doing this for a while yes i've been doing this over i've been doing this over 25 years actually oh my goodness yeah. so let me change that i said 25 sure. mixtapes 25 years and i'm like on about 16 or 17 albums in mixtape collective wow so uh, hard to keep count no that's great <laughs> so uh how old were you first started performing? I was 13 when I first started performing. I've been doing music all my life. Um, 13 when I started doing talent shows and it was mm -hmm. actually like considered in the industry, you know? That's awesome. So if I ask everybody this, so a lot of people, some people don't <laughs> really listen to the style that, that they perform because you know, you kind of want to get away from it sometimes. Sure. So if I was in your, in your car right now and turned on the radio, what would be playing? What do you listen to? Because I have children now, it's just kind of <laughs> no, like, no. I don't even have the time to listen. No, but okay. when I do listen to, listen to something, um, t I can tell you what I used to listen to in the past when I had sure. time to listen. Sure. Because I used to actually listen to more R&B music. Okay. So, um, you know, I love my Mary J. Blodges. I love my Mariah Carey's. <laughs> there was my CDs and rap back in the game. I used to have my little, little Kim in the deck. <laughs> I used to have, yeah, big yeah. shout out in to the, the Queen B. I like that. Straight up. And, like, today, if I do put, if something does come on, it would probably be my latest mixtape with DJ Tricky C. He's the DJ, I'm the rapper, or the new artist, Respect and Community mixtape that's in my in my Jeep now, if if you turn it on. Yeah. But I have to remember to turn it on. I'll be doing stuff <laughs> so much. Like, the world is just so busy now because we have all of this digital this digital platform. So it keeps me busy, which is a good thing. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yes. And thank you for coming. I know it's a busy day for you. We're talking it's okay <laughs> if i wasn't busy i think i just would be just bored like needing to do something yeah, right, so right. i'm a gemini so i always have to stay busy so yes. tell us about your your greatest influences you know who do you listen to or, or who what artist has influenced you mostly and and how they shaped your style and tell us about your style um i would say um the artists that influenced me is not the ones that actually really shaped my sure. style or maybe i don't know because i never really looked at it like that so thank god for these questions because it make me view myself but um the artists that inspired me were the michael jackson's okay. uh the yeah. diana ross's mm -hmm. um the queen latifah's mm -hmm. uh the cool. brat you know the brat um as far as when they start verging over to hip-hop start being popular and especially with females so they inspire me and i think as far as style goes because me being an artist one thing a real artist a real artist don't want to do is sound like nobody else the original artist mm -hmm. a lot of artists today gimmick and mimic each other but real artistry we artists like to create their own sound to have their own identity like if you hear michael jackson you know that's michael jackson so anybody else that sounded like him you know they are mimicking or gimmicking or grab something from michael jackson yeah so for me i always wanted to keep my own originality you know of mm -hmm. my sound you know the best i could implement some of the new things that's being played to keep the familiarity that's a part of being an artist you grab a little bit of, of everything that's out and popular right now that's how we build mm -hmm. of yeah. course yeah so i'm pretty sure um over 25 years you you don't get nervous anymore i'm <laughs> sure of that but kind of sometimes but you know not really always as, as a performer myself i always get like little jitters from yeah that's what i'm saying like kind of sometimes and it's just like okay am i ready is they gonna have my stuff right on time <laughs> so, okay i gotta go y'all so, and i'm out so do you have <laughs> like a pre-show ritual that you do like let's say you're doing a big show i don't ever actually have a specific do you, do you warm up do you yeah do you, do you drink anything special tea i know we we're talking about that earlier. not every time if i have to if i feel like my voice is is like i need to open up and i know i need to warm it up then i'll go ahead and drink some uh, from traditional medicinal throat coke that is a lifesaver throat coke 
throat coat. Oh. You never heard of that? No, never heard of that. Traditional medicinal. It has licorice and things in there, but it's a throat it's coat. It's not like the spray, right? That no, no, no. The yeah. Out of your throat? I never use that. <laughs> I drink I would drink the tea, something to warm me up, to open me up so I can yell because that's what i mainly do yeah yeah well, <laughs> look cool. i'm like yeah i get crunk, <laughs> i get super loud they be like i know that little bitty girl did not <laughs> was not the one so uh so where can people find you on social media on social media you can find me on instagram at cliche for real that's c-l-c-h-e the number four real and on facebook you can find me at cliche which is c-l apostrophe capital c-h-e apostrophe don't add no eyes <laughs> because that stands for classified lady shay i knew you were gonna get to the name yeah but cliche in my spelling is yeah classified so, lady shay so obviously we all know what cliche means so how did you how did you come up with the name right actually um i didn't take the meaning of the word cliche yeah, okay, that's c-l-i-c-h-e not that one mm -hmm. i took it from the acronyms for classified lady shay because my original name is lashavia and everybody used to, i used when i first started rapping the game my name was baby shay mm -hmm. Baby Shay, everybody called baby me Shay. Baby Shay, right? So then when I started making the okay. name for myself, gotcha. yeah, when I started making the name for myself and growing up more in, in in maturing in the industry a little bit more, it was cliche classified lady. Oh, Shay. And so what I did was the acronym oh, C L awesome. and apostrophe capital C H E apostrophe. Now the killing part about this is everybody and they mama daddy <laughs> cousin sister and uncle spell my name wrong so like i have a hard time with you know collecting credits and things like that off of oh, certain songs gotcha. sometimes yeah so digitally that kind of hurts <laughs> me because of the name but i can't change it now so you know but i when i register my songs i will put cliche every wrong way i've ever seen it spelled Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> to that catch it some kind of way. Yes. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> That's smart, guys. Right. I'll tag tip. all the wrong names. That's yes. wisdom right there, guys. That's <laughs> wisdom. So are you working on any projects, any any new music that we should be looking out for? Yeah, actually, like I said, um, what I'm going to perform today is um, I actually have a cut that's from an upcoming album. 2020 Miss Houston is the upcoming album in the project that I'm working on. Uh, it's a song that's called Pay Me What You Owe Me that I will be performing a little piece of it mm -hmm. just to show the variety. It, all of my songs, like, not to toot my own horn. Toot what? What I love about me, y'all, <laughs> is that I can take any of my songs from 20 years ago and put them in a mix and do a show with the current songs today. Now, that's what I respect in the artist because good music lasts forever. So a lot of people like to say that, you know, oh, that song is old. This song is old. And your song is not old if the whole world hasn't heard it. And even if they have heard it, if it's a great song, it's a great song, whether it's old or new. You don't hear them saying, I could just sound Oh, that's the old song. No, you don't. No, you just no. get up and yeah. you jam. Yeah. You know? Well, so everything you were rehearsing today during the <laughs> sounded awesome, guys. Uh, I think you're you're the first one with your style as a female rap rapper. Would you consider yes. rapper? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're the first one here. And so this is great for us. We we really appreciate you, like I said. Wow. I've said that many times. Oh, the first. Y'all get it, Miss Houston. The first. the first right here in R, &R studio. And, and she's gonna be hard to top, guys, because <laughs> I was over here like dancing in my chair, and so then, my, then uh, my partner she uh, she walked in here and she was like, "Man, she's good." I had to look over here, <laughs> and Thank so you. she was over here like dancing as well. And that's what I'm talking about. about. That's so, what I'm talking about. So, so you are in for a treat, guys. Um, all right. So if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Can I uh, subscribe to mine too? Of course. Miss Houston. Yes, and YouTube. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a finishing spiel. Okay. That includes yes. No, but, but yes, awesome. Yes. Because I didn't give it when I said my things. That's why. I just oh, thought, no, I just thought no, about it. You, you schooled no, me. No, it's okay. all good. No, it's all good. So send us your contact information and we'll tag this video that's been awesome. at the moment. Yes, awesome. We'll put Thank all your information. You. Please subscribe to her channel. What Please is it subscribe. YouTube.com slash. Uh, what is it? YouTube.com. See all this new <laughs> digital stuff. Y'all got to help me. Backslash or forward slash, forward whatever. Slash, forward, forward slash, slash. Miss MS Houston. Real simple. See? So, yes. Yeah, so look for her. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, share the event. We want to make sure that Cliche has tons Thank of you. new fans that will Please. go on and see her play and uh, rap, play, whatever. You know, you sh and, and it's worth it. I mean, it's, she's totally awesome. And all my music is clean uh, that I'm performing. Yes. The old school music. 
I'm not gonna tell y'all that lie. But all my new, the last past two, three albums, and mm-hmm. including this performance, I don't perform or or record anymore with any profanity. So you know, Good. I'm all for the positive. So you won't get anything negative. Cause when I feel like when you grow up, I know I'm going into this interview a little more, but I feel like when you grow up, your music should grow up with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So a lot of rappers like to stay in that immature state of mind at 40 and 50 years old. Like no, I said, grow up. Wisdom, guys. Yeah. That's wisdom. Yeah. That's wise. And if you're watching on Twitter, retweet the event. We're streaming live to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I do have Twitter. Yeah. See, I so retweet it. C-L-C-H-E. And, yeah. Don't add no eyes. What about Instagram? You already said that, right? Yeah. C-L-C-H-E, number four real. And so uh, any final thoughts before we do this? Well, the final thoughts will be at the end. Do I come back after my performance and tell uh, them something? Probably you can say everything oh, I say it now. Oh, okay. Look, I'm talking final thoughts is when I get through. When no, I get no, through. no, no, no. After, no, after, after you get done performing, you're welcome to say something on it. We won't come back to this. I like to talk here. to them. But, yeah. but definitely, you're definitely welcome to say anything. Will we be mind. able to see people come in live if they're yes, here? Yes, yes. If oh, I, I normally have up. my phone and I'll, and I'll see uh, I'll see who's just there. Just to see you guys, make sure if you have any questions for me, do that because I love to talk to y'all. See y'all, I'm just really getting acquainted with this digital stuff. So y'all talk to me so I can Back to y'all at RR Studios. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. We're gonna take a 30-second break while she goes and gets ready, and we'll get the show going. Thank you.